Let's see, eight. In this video, I'm gonna cover crafting dialogue as part of interacting with sprites. So in previous videos, we've gone over core concepts that are part of Bitsy 8. We've discussed avatar, the thing we move around, tiles, which can be background or potentially walls, and sprites, things we interact with. We've also talked a little bit about items, which are things we use. These are our part of rooms. We organize sections of a game or story within Bitsy as rooms, and we can move between rooms by creating one-way or two-way exits. So in this video, we want to concentrate on using dialogue as part of interacting with sprites. So as a quick review over here in the paint tool, we'll come down here to sprites. And we'll notice by default, we have something called dialogue right here. And it says, I'm a cat. Now, if I play this as it exists right now, so we don't have any title other than the default. And again, I'm moving the avatar using WASD or the arrow keys on a keyboard. And I come down and I kind of move into the space of the sprite. And you'll notice it says, I'm a cat. We press another key and it disappears. So by default, an interaction with a sprite is that we kind of run into them and then we get to see their dialogue. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this sprite. So remember, if we're using the paint tool, come down to sprite, and then the third option right here, which is to add a drawing. Or I'm sorry, the fourth option, which is to duplicate. So I'm gonna call this cat2. And I'm going to add a different dialogue. Literally, I'm different. And so let's go ahead and place this within the room. So now we have two different sprites with two different dialogues. And let's play just to see this in action. And again, we interact by running into them. So right here, I'm different. Coming down here, I'm a cat. Now, let's notice something a little interesting. The placement of the dialogue box, so the box containing the dialogue in which we're interacting, appeared in different places on the screen. For this interaction, it appeared here at the bottom, and for this interaction, it appeared at the top. Now, depending on where the interaction originates within the room, that is in the upper half or lower half, will also correspondingly be the opposite of where the dialogue box occurs. In other words, if we interact with a sprite at the top of the screen, the dialogue's only the bottom. If we interact with the bottom, it will be at the top. This is so we can always very clearly see the dialogue and also see the thing we are interacting with, which is a really good, useful way of presenting both the text we're seeing and the thing we're interacting with to generate that text in Bitsy. It's a really good user interface approach. So this was more at the top, the dialogue's at the bottom, and then when we act at the bottom here, dialogue's at the top. Okay, so let's create a brand new sprite. And this time I'm gonna click the plus and let's call this cat two. And so this time I'm gonna draw just a kind of square looking thing right here. And we'll just kind of fill it in. That's mostly a square. That's a cat. And I'm gonna drop this into the world right here. So over here in dialog, this time I wanna expand what I wanna do. So there are lots of different tools we've used within Bitsy. We've got the room tool, paint tool. We even interacted with the colors tool. As a reminder, colors apply on a per room basis. There are other tools we can use as well. So over here in paint, I'm gonna come down and click this little breakout and a breakout right here into the dialog tool. So sometimes we just want text, but other times we might want additional interactions. Again, a sprite is something we interact with. So generally the interaction might be dialogue, but it doesn't have to be. So right here, I have cat dialogue one, and I'm gonna click add. And now I've got lots of possible interactions we can do coming as a result of interacting with this particular sprite. So I'm gonna click on dialogue. And notice we have dialogue and page break. So we can break things up into different pages. I'm gonna go ahead and click dialogue. And we've got some dialogue here. And I'm gonna change this. So we've got now I'm also a cat, or I'm also a cat. Now, what about here? What if I want different text effects? Notice if I hover over here, the tooltip says text and wavy tags. We've got text and shakes rainbow colored, as well as different potential palettes for this applying here. So let's just try a color. 
So we've got color zero, which is whatever that is. And notice these are tags. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this using the uh, control X and control V. And if you were on Windows, that would be, or I'm sorry, command X, <laughs> command V on Mac and control X and control V on Windows. Um, and notice they are inside these special symbols. So we are just kind of barely touching on working with code within Bitsy. So as we apply text effects, they're within a concept called tags. Tags are a way of applying extra symbols to existing text such that they are enclosed and so that effect only applies to a particular selection. So we hear open and close in curly brackets around this and opening curly brackets around this. Now, if we're ever like, ah, I don't know this or I accidentally messed it up, totally okay. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and click this trash can and it's gone. So if we ever mess up, we think we messed up or we just wanna try something different, let's just erase it and start over. So I'm gonna add a new dialog, dialog. I'm also a cat. Okay, this time let's add another dialog, dialog. So I'm also a cat, just kidding. And now let's add another one. Dialogue, dialogue. I'm an alien from outer space. I'm also a cat, just kidding. I'm an alien from outer space. Three different dialogues here, right? One after another, after another. Now notice something kind of important here. The arrows point in order down. From this to this one to this one. So let these little arrows right here guide you in how these interactions are going to take place. Again, right now we're just using dialogues, but potentially there could be other things. So let's go ahead and see this in action. So default title. I'm also a cat. Just kidding. I'm an alien from outer space. Notice the dialogue weighing one after another after another. Now, why did it do this? Because these are three different dialogues all kind of combined together. Well, what if we wanted to break this up a little bit? So let's go ahead and stop. So notice it combined them all. So this time let's add a dialogue page break, start a new page of dialogue, right? If there are actions after this one, they will start after player presses continue. So, okay, new dialogue over here. So all of our previous dialogues got combined. So I'm gonna add a little space here. Then we have a page break. Notice the arrows are pointing down again. And now we have, it should have a new box. So let's go ahead and play this. I'm also a cat, just kidding. I'm an alien from outer space. Continue, new box. So when we're adding multiple dialogues, again, we've popped out the dialogue tool, added multiple dialogues. They will all be combined together if there's nothing between them. In this case, we have what's called a page break. We added a page break following these arrows, all this text, a page break, which starts a new page of dialogue, and then a new box or a new page of dialogue. So we can start to build more complicated interactions within Bitsy 8 by now integrating our knowledge of existing concepts with the dialogue tool. And we will continue to build on this knowledge in a future video where we build more complex interactions. But for at least this video, using dialogue, crafting dialogue, we're working with adding the, breaking out the dialogue tool, adding new sprites, and extending our knowledge of how all these concepts work. Again, the avatar, the thing we move around, tile, background, walls, sprite, the thing we interact with, and items, potentially things we use, all within rooms, subsections of a story or game within Bitsy. So we're continuing our knowledge, building on our knowledge in Bitsy 8, now working with dialogue, and then we'll add more to that in a future video. Thanks for watching.